pieces are described in Ephesians as follows. Loins girt with truth, the belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness, shoes with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Shield of faith, helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. The point is that we need to live in truth. To put on the belt of truth means to put your full trust in God's truth and in what God says. If you believe God's truth, then you'll be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. It will be like a belt that supports you so that you can stand. Put on your belt of truth. Righteousness is what protects the core of your being from every spiritual attack. The breastplate covers what's closest to your heart. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. and of marrow, 
and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Imagine that you are sitting in a completely white room at peace and as you breathe, sense this tranquility within you as you follow that breath in and out, feeling the presence of that spirit moving in you. Um, light reflected from within you, reflective of the light and spirit around you, feeling the presence of God and the Holy Spirit inside and around you, circulating, permeating through your cells. As you breathe, the trillions of cells in your body are rejuvenated, bringing your body to a calm state of joy as you breathe in. Cherishing the enjoying of that life force. The truth that this spirit is the force of life. The Holy Spirit. Breathe. And envision before you a set of armor. Walk up to the armor. And grab the belt that's wrapped around the breastplate. Put the belt around your waist. And feel the support. this belt of truth instilling the trust within your solar plexus circulating your intuition and your instincts with the light the inner light communicates with the great light as this communion occurs truth of God descends upon us through this connection. Breathe in that truth as you feel that power circulate through you, supporting you with vibrant energy. Feel it circulating down your waist and up into your arms and chest. This power of God's truth intuition and instinct that renders us immune from any base negative energy, psychic powers, influences, or attacks. This belt of truth supports us and we stand in love. Feel that power emanating as you fasten the belt and grab the breastplate before you start to strap it against your chest. This breastplate of righteousness, of integrity, of balance, emanates through the energy center straight to the core of every cell in our being. 
empowers the heart, encases the energy field, rendering us immune from any spiritual attack, from any psychic attack, from any negative energy, from any disharmony. You feel an emanation of energy as you look at this plate and notice crystals pertaining to the seven chakras in alignment and feel the emanation of that energy going into your heart, strengthening you as you stand and place one foot in the shoe before you and another foot to move through life as a messenger of peace ready to deliver the truth prepared to speak the truth to live and shine the truth this truth of the light within shine Spread the light, live in the light, peace be unto you for your internal and external life, peace be unto you and all around you, so it is in each and every cell inside of you. advances. The shield of faith. Feel the power as you now yield this shield with your right arm and hold it. Feel the power as you grab the helmet before you. Place it upon your head helmet of salvation, creating a protective barrier from all negative thoughts and words, instilling and encasing the harmonious communication of the internal dialogue to vibrate and communicate hope through the trials and tribulations of life and living salvation of right thought, of proper knowledge, of definite purpose, comes from the knowledge of the stability and truth in which we stand, the righteousness 
which we circulate in our hearts and the peace which is the journey trusting in the salvation that is this protection feel that connection emanating now vibrantly in you empowering you I am made by God I am a being of light and love as you start to reach for the sword with your left hand Sword of the Spirit, and as you grab it, you enter it inside the belt where it's held. You enter the sword of spirit, and knowing that you hold the word of God to yield truth, to pierce through every fragment that keeps us from freedom and love and the expressions of light. This sword of our spirit resembles the Holy Spirit and moves through all that is and pierces through the darkness. Feeds of peace, planted light, growing trees of life to feed fruits of life and spread the peace through life. So it is made by God, I am a being of light and love, and as we speak that truth out, the word of God moves through that truth to the very core of our being, unarming any forces of opposition. Now that you are fully armored, feel the protection and the power of God's truth in you. You breathe, close your eyes and feel the power of that suit of armor. with you. Feel it as it's combining with you. Open your eyes and you see that there is no longer any armor outside. It has been incorporated in your body. Energy is now integrated fully. 